Hey, it's your boy Baba Beats here. I want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is Ultra Goku and Bruce Lee. That is correct. These two have been compared, and the reason why is because they're saying Ultra Goku is inspired by Bruce Lee, and I see it. The first person I see to say that was Jack Blade. So I'm just gonna pretty much, you know, say it. <laughs> I'm a, I'm straight to what I got to do. Now, when it comes down to it, I do see the comparison between Ultra Goku and Bruce Lee in regards to um, the way things are in terms of how Goku moves and the way he's 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 fighting and everything. It is a comparison to Bruce. Lee. Now, when it comes down to it, uh, we're talking about Beerus. Beerus, when he saw Goku fighting, he looked and he saw, he noticed it was Ultra Instinct. Now, with him fighting at that level, we saw pretty much, um, we saw everything going on around us. It was like these two were fighting at a different level. Goku and, and, and Jiren are like way out there. Now, when it comes down to it, um, the gods of destruction... They were upset about this. They were uncomfortable. They were talking. Tien and Krillin noticed this. A couple of others noticed that the gods were not, you know, feeling good about the fact that um, these two were fighting at such a heightened level. And the reason why is because I think because um, they haven't mastered it. And maybe because they haven't really got it to where it needs to be just yet. You know, they're looking at it like, wow, I think Beerus has mastered it because Beerus is the best god of destruction out of all of them. But when it comes down to it, yeah, it's... It's a situation where they were they were afraid of, of Goku and Jiren fighting at the level they were at. Now, with that also being said, we're, we're going to talk about the fact that Bruce Lee and Goku and how um, Ultra Goku is inspired by Bruce Lee. The reason why is because when you see Goku uh, moving around, Goku got a bit of a flow to him, right? He's moving around very calmly and everything along that nature. Even the power that Goku has um, going around him, is it, it's like a flow of water. It's like flows of water. Don't you, you, you notice that, right? Now, Bruce Lee made a line, which is pretty much called Be Water. And what that is, is um, be shaped. Be formless. When water is in the cup, it becomes the cup. When water is in the bottle, it becomes the bottle. When water is in the teapot, it becomes the teapot. Water can crash and water can flow. Be water. Now, when you've seen Goku moving, when you've seen that power around him, it's all water, right? It's a flow. Like, he's moving with a real good flow. There's no discomfort about him. He's just moving where he needs. He's doing everything he's supposed to do. Uh, and likewise, Bruce Lee talked about, um, what was it? Natural instinct and control. He said too much of one uh, will cause you uh, to crash. Too much of the other would make you like a robot. Now, if you have too much natural instinct, uh, you are going to have a crash. If you have too much control, you'll be like a machine, but they have the balance. I think that's the problem there with Ultra Goku. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I think uh, with Ultra Goku, when he was emitting heat, it, like he had a flow of heat around him from, I mean, Whis noticed it, Krillin noticed it, everybody knows it was a heat about him, even Jiren. Um, and with that being said, I think that's what he needs to master in order to uh, keep, you know, pretty much be in that form, stay in that form. And, and he, uh, you know, keep that form going. Uh, and that's something he's going to eventually learn. Now, Bruce Lee was talking about uh, other comparisons, like whenever I want to hit you, it just happens. It's just my instinct. When I want to do it, see, that's the balance of flow and control. Goku has bits of that going on with him. Like when he took one step and the next thing you know, he was going at Jiren with a kick. Uh, it, 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 that was instinct. That was him just naturally, boom, I'm there. Um now, Goku uh, is moving completely different. Even Gohan knows it. He's like, you know, this is not how my father usually fights. So with that being said, yeah, um, I see the movement. I see, you know, there's places where you see the movement with, with Goku, the way he's doing things right now. And I would say it is kind of like Bruce Lee. So I do see where the inspiration is coming from in terms of saying that Bruce Lee is the inspiration for Ultra Goku. Now, I know people are calling him Ultra Instinct Goku. Some people are calling him Ultra, Ultra Instinct Omen Goku. I'm just going to call him Ultra Goku. Goku. That's that's just what that's my thing. You know, I'm, I'm calling him Ultra Goku. But yeah, basically, yeah, I do see where the comparisons are coming from. I do understand what's coming from. But it's pretty, you know, it's kind of cool to see that happen. But I just want to say to you, all, I just want to say much love, much respect. It's your boy Bobby Beach. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Go ahead and like this video. And I just want you to be like water. Go right ahead and flow. I just want to say much love, much respect. Hold it down and one. Hey, it's your boy Bobby.